It's story time with World's Worst Gamer! <laughs> Alright, today I'm going to tell you a story about my most embarrassing moment. I dare anyone out there to top my story. Comment below and try to top my most embarrassing moment. It all started way back when I was in my early 20s. So it was a real blizzardy, snowy day like minus 30 degrees Celsius. Had to go to work. I worked at uh, this place called New York Fries and I was going to be late for work. I had woken up late and I phoned in to Gino, my boss, telling him I was going to be a little bit late and I went to turn on my car and it wouldn't work like usual. It was a, it was a piece of crap. It, uh, didn't start in the best of times, so I phoned him back, said I'm gonna be a bit more late. I'm gonna go see if I can replace the battery at uh, one of these automotive shops down a couple blocks. He's all right, just uh, phone me back, and tell me what happens. So uh, I set out, trudging through all that snow. It was like ankle deep snow. The wind's just blowing. So I got to the first automotive place down the street couple blocks away and uh, the guy was kind of looking at me weird. I didn't think too much of it. He uh, was looking around in the back, couldn't find a battery for my particular vehicle because it is kind of a, a rare. So I went uh, down to the next automotive place and the guy there, very helpful, very nice. Um, and he found my battery. So I had to carry this battery home. This, and if you've ever tried to pick up a battery, you know how heavy those things are. They're as heavy as a typewriter. So I had to haul that battery in the snow all the way home and install it in my piece of shit car to see if it would work. And I finally got it home. I was tired. I had to work a full-time shift, okay? A full eight-hour shift after this. Needless to say, the car wouldn't start even after installing the battery, so I had to, uh, phone my boss Gino again and tell him you know I'm gonna be like over an hour late uh, my car won't start I have to take the city bus and wait for it out this freezing cold he's like all right just get in when you can get in he's a real good boss you know so I went out and I uh, waited for the bus eventually got on the bus was packed standing room only so the only seat I could get was the uh, the front side seats the, the seats on the side that where you face the middle so everyone can basically stare at you and that's exactly what they were doing everybody was uh, staring at me weird and I was just like kind of sinking into my seat like why are they all looking at me so I finally get to West 7 the mall and I'm walking into the mall so I'm walking by and I just casually glance at the mirror my face is dotted with uh, white dots and I'm freaking out oh no I bury my head and I run as fast as I can to New York fries the place where I work what happened was the night before I was watching David Letterman and he was interviewing this model he asked her what is the uh, best way to fight acne and she said best way to fight acne is before you go to sleep dot your face with toothpaste on all the pimples and they will disappear by the morning so yeah I had uh, blue toothpaste dots all over my face the two automotive places but the people helping me there saw me with Blue toothpaste dots speckled all over my face, as well as the packed bus that I was taking. And I, you know, I couldn't, you know, get a normal seat where I'm facing the front and nobody could stare at me for the whole 45 minute bus ride. No, I had to get the side seat where everybody could see the dots on my face. The toothpaste on my face. So needless to say, I haven't uh, tried that method since. Yeah, that's my most embarrassing moment and uh, I'd like to see you guys try and top that in the comments below. Alright, until next time.